in sight go ahead and pan down the bridge this is the best part about fishing a twin span is there's never anybody here it holds fish just like the other bridges and we're going to show you guys just how effective the twin span can be right now not the biggest trout in the world but Catching some keepers. What we're using today is our bright colors. We've got a bright sunny day, some clean water. I love bubblegum pink, the pink champagne, and crystal clear water. Sam's gonna be using a bright one too, the limbo slice. That's what we're gonna be using on a 3 8 ounce uh, jig head, golden eye, to catch some of these trout here on the twin spin. Right? As you can see kind of where I cast it there and where I set that hook, every one of these bites that we've had are from almost inside of a hula hoop. That's, that's the region. So once you dial that pattern in, you want to just keep plugging away at that exact same cast. As Sam's got one right here. Sam's got a smaller one. This is a decent fish here. You just want to keep Make sure the boat's all hit here. But like I was saying, I had to push the boat off. You want to just keep mate. Once you figure out that pattern, just keep over and over and over again. The same cast, same presentation, angles. The angle of the presentation is extremely important. Let's see if we can get some more. All right, my favorite thing about fishing a twin span. Is, is just the lack of boat traffic it has. I almost never see anybody on this bridge and it always blows my mind as when the fish come into the lake, they get on all three bridges and for whatever reason, the trestle is the one that always flocks all of the boats. And this year in particular, you know, the people fishing the bridge have been doing really well and they've been using a lot of live shrimp. So catching them on plastic's been a little tricky you come over here, these fish haven't been bothered at all, and it's a lot easier to catch them on plastics. Um, another thing that I love about fishing the twin spam is it's virtually snagless. We go through very few jig heads on here, and it makes it real easy if you like trolling. You can troll right down the middle of the bridge and catch trout. And if, you know, it's a five mile long bridge. If you're looking for an area, you don't know where to start, a good thing to always look for is what section is holding the wounds, the birds that go underwater, and as those are always in areas that trout like to hang out. Yeah, baby. 
that's about the biggest size. Like that's the larger of what we're catching on the twin span. We get some winners out here where it's all big two, four, five pounders in here. And when that's the case, they're buried up in the poles. But when it's these smaller fish, I wouldn't really call it a school trout, but regular size fish, you want to throw at the pole, you want to throw right behind where the current is moving. So if the tide's coming in, we're going to be fishing the eastern span. We're going to throw right past the, um, kind of get a like cast perpendicular, throw right past it. We're going to let that current sweep us off the pole and those bites are coming about 10 foot off in the, in the current eddy that the pilots are creating. And if it's a falling tide, it's just the opposite. You get a fish the western span and do the exact same thing. But these fish pattern themselves extremely, it's an extremely tight pattern that they do on this twin span. And once you figure it out, that's uh, they're going to be on each pole the same way. You just want to make the same cast over and over and that same presentation over and over and put some fish in the boat. It's gonna be close. Watch this trolling motor. About to hit the bridge again. That's one thing you gotta watch out for when you got a decent little current movement is the boat pushing into the bridge spans here. But if you're gonna come out here and fish and you don't have a lot of experience in it, I would recommend a half ounce jig head. That way you know you're gonna get it down to the bottom. We're using a 3H right now, the currents. It's not too hard. I'd rather a 3 8 I mean, but we do this every day. A half ounce for people that haven't done it that often. That way it's just a little bit easier for you to get down to the bottom because all your bites are going to come from the bottom. And it's going to take, when you cast that lure into the water, it takes about 10 seconds for it to reach the bottom before you want to begin your retrieve. All uh, right, we're gonna go ahead and end it on this uh, fish right here. Nice, short, and sweet episode. Only took about 20 minutes to film this. These trout were almost behind every pollen, like we went over. It's a pattern. We found a pattern on the fish early. Just started tagging them pretty fast, using bright colors. These items are gonna be in your monthly bait box, the pink champagne matrix, along with what Sam was using, the limbo slice matrix. Make sure to subscribe to the Matrix Bait Box. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out all our videos. Fishing all of the bridges on the Gulf Coast, really, as we even do bridge fishing in Florida. Come out here, try your luck at the Twin Span. There's not a boat in sight and plenty of fish. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Until next time, good fishing.